So, Iggy, hear me out. A tower defense game, but you play it like a real-time strategy game, but also like a roguelike game. That sounds stupid. Okay, I'm in. No, 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 no. You think you can just waltz in here, past all my hardship, pain and suffering, and you just get to see the end product? You will start this journey in the same place I did, by creating something called a game design document. Game design documents help you design your game and keep track of the scope of the game. The problem was that, on top of having no clue what a game design document even is, I'm also the most unorganized, chaotic person that I know. And so you can imagine my relief when I discovered a game-changing tool called Nuclino. It not only had a ready game design document template, but also all the tools I was already using like Trello and Notion built into it. With the help of Nuclino, I could create to-do lists, organize my ideas and even integrate other apps like Miro for brainstorming. And with this newfound app, Iggy and I started designing the game. We knew that we needed to create something unique to set ourselves apart. We spent countless hours designing a compelling story, brainstorming exciting game systems and bringing our project to life. But as we dug deeper, we quickly realized that challenging and dynamic AI enemies would be absolutely crucial to this game. Because, let's face it, a tower defense game without enemies is just a tower building simulator. And as much as I love building towers, that's not exactly the kind of game we were going for. There was just one problem. I have no clue on how to make even the simplest NPC AI. And so my first real challenge would be to learn how to make semi-complex NPC AI that are very cheap resource-wise since we want to have a huge amount of enemies on screen without turning your PC into a glorified toaster. And so I dove headfirst into the world of gaming AI programming. Two weeks later. I finally managed to scramble together a very basic and simple AI, but he works pretty well. Meet Ben. God damn. One eternity later. Okay, now everything works. Ben here has a singular mission in life to reach and destroy the drill, which is essentially the beating heart of the player's base. This drill is constantly gathering resources to fuel the player's expansion and growth, and if it gets destroyed, well, it's game over for you. And Ben will stop at nothing to reach that drill, and believe me, you do not want to be in between the shroom-sniffing ball of hatred and its target. Wait a second. Oh, so that's where it comes from. Huh. Who knew? Now that I've created the first basic AI, it was time to move to the building system. We want to give the player the ability to build walls and other structures around the drill. But first, I have to get something off my chest. After using Nuclino for a few weeks, I completely fell in love with it. And so I reached out to the team and asked if they could sponsor one of my videos in exchange for the premium version of Nuclino. And guess what? They said yes. Not only that, but they also wanted to give you all two months of free access to their standard plan. So don't waste another second, click the link in the description and start your own exciting journey with Nuclino. Trust me, you will not regret it. Drawing from experience with the building system of my survival game, I adapted the building system principles to this game, resulting in walls that snap together seamlessly in a variety of different angles. I'm not really convinced about this system, so it's very possible that I revisit the building system in the future, but for now, let's move on. We have an enemy, we have walls, and we have the ability to place the walls around the drill. But now, we need heavy weaponry to defend against the horde of bends. By applying some simple AI logic to a turret model, I managed to create a turret that targets the closest enemy in its range and shoots it until it dies. I then integrated this turret into the build this system and voila, the game is really starting to take shape with walls and turrets that the player can use to defend against the relentless AI. But something very important is missing. Can you guess what it is? Okay, I'll give you a hint. 
It's in the name. Yes, exactly. It's a tower defense game with a distinct lack of towers. But fear not, my fellow gamers, because I came up with a quick and easy solution. Look, I take a cube, I simply do a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and then... Ta-da! Crisis averted. Now you can strategize and defend your base like a pro, with walls, turrets, and of course, towers. So, we have the core buildable elements, but now we need a way to upgrade them. And, to be honest, this was fairly easy since it's kind of similar to my crafting system in my survival game. And I have to say, something I really like about my upgrade UI is this 3D zoom effect. It really adds to the immersion and feel of the game. And to be honest, I kind of stole this UI idea from my friend's tower defense game, Vav. So, shout out to him. What the fuck? The upgrade system is pretty limited for now. We have two types of upgrades. A level upgrade, which is the same object but with better stats. And we have a tier upgrade, which will unlock once you reach the max level of the object you're upgrading. The tier upgrade replaces the old object with a significantly better version of itself. For example, you turn a gravel wall into a stone wall and a stone wall into an iron wall and so on. I also have a third type of upgrade planned that will change a core function of the object like giving a wall spikes or a turret some incendiary, incendiary so some, some fire bullets, but that will be shown in a future devlog. Last but not least, I added NFT microtransactions.